Okay, just received the URC WR7 Universal Remote. And I'm excited to test this one out because it's only 20 bucks. And it comes with batteries, and it's got the learning mode, it's got all the programming modes, and it looks like a, um, a pretty good option. So we're going to get into this and see what it's like. Actually opened up. Nice and easy. And you need the scissors. Well, there it is. Let's go program something. Okay, I've just unboxed the WR7, and so what's the first thing you do if you put in the batteries? Well, let's try it out and try to program something. I've got my Xbox sitting down there in the corner, the white box. And here's the remote that came with the Xbox. It's big, it's clunky, the batteries don't last at all, so it's a perfect thing to program into my universal remote. So the first thing they tell you to do is to find the three-digit code for the device you want to program. So I've gone online to remotecontrolcodelist.com, do a search on Xbox, and here it is. It's found a few codes, and one of the first ones is 408. So I'm going to try that out. The next thing I need to do is, on the remote, pick the button I want to use, and there's a button for the CD, VCR, satellite, DVD, television, there's one for auxiliary, so I'm going to use that for the Xbox. And what they tell me to do is hold down that button and the SEL, or select button, for a couple of seconds until the button turns red and stays red. Then it's in learning mode and I can type in my code and see if it works. So I'm going to hold down AUX and the select, and there you go, it's in learning mode, so it's glowing red. Now I just take that three-digit code I looked up, 408, point at the device I want to program and type it in and it should come on. 408. You can see it happen. The light just turned green on the Xbox and it is booting up. So now the last thing I have to do is save that result so it gets stored in there. I just press that button one more time and now the button flashes and it's back to normal. Now the Xbox is booting up on the TV. And if I take the remote and point it, you can see now I'm going through all the different options, playing DVDs, using a little um, directional pad on the remote, and I'm making it work. So that was it. In uh, a couple of minutes, I took this thing out of the box, programmed it. Now I can put that Xbox remote away. I'd say for 20 bucks on Amazon, this is about the cheapest universal remote that I've seen. It's easier to set up than some of the more expensive ones that I've used, like the Harmony and... Uh, I'm going to need to get one of these for just about every room in the house. So there you go.